Hey guys, Joe Jaguar here. Okay, what am I doing today? Let's do a showdown. Okay, I wanna test the Mead 6000 triplet Apple Chromatic. This is 130 millimeter against the Takahashi 102. Now I know most people, some people might say, that's not even a fair comparison. Four inch, you know, 102 to a 130 is a huge difference. But I just want to see. Let's just test it, see what happens. I mean, everybody knows the Takahashi is pretty much one of the best quality telescopes there is. The Mead, I, I, I don't think it's no slouch either. I think it's a decent quality. Sure, it's made in Mexico. It's not made in U.S. anymore, but it's still a good quality. It's still a triplet 61 glass. So I, I've used it. I've tested. I think it's a very good scope for the price. So. I do expect images will be a bit brighter in this one. Let's just see if it holds up. Even if it's virtually identical and I can't see any difference, that's still a very good plus for the TAC 102. Just because then that means a 102 TAC can compete with also a fairly good quality, um, you know, uh, well, slightly lower, of course, uh, quality scope, but a, a much larger one. So, and uh, that's it. So let's just see what happens. Um, you know, I, I, I like Takahashi, but I also have Celestron. I like Mead. I like Skywatcher. There's lots of good name brands out there. So I don't mind doing sometimes side by side. Usually I like to compare apples to apples, same size if I can, uh, triplets and doublets if I can. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with doing sometimes one that's slightly off. So yes, the Mead is bigger. They're both triplets, uh, but you know, the Takahashi is a triplet 53. This one's a triplet 61. So this one quality is much higher. So maybe it can out, like perform just as good. Maybe it, maybe it will outperform it. Let's check it out. It will be a bit brighter here for sure, but that's okay. I want to test them out. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to take them outside and let them cool down um, maybe 40 minutes or so. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm outside and as you can see, obviously it's it's pretty dark, of course, except for a few street lights there. So again, just for uh, you guys that uh, don't know or haven't seen the video where I said, uh, because obviously it's dark and you basically almost can't see me at all and stuff, uh, when I edit, I'm gonna turn on like the night vision type of type of thing I'm going to enhance it so you can somewhat see what I'm doing but of course the image quality is going to go down a lot okay so I have Saturn in the Takahashi 4 inch at about 58 power obviously you can see it now I just wanted to make it clear today is not the best night it's a little bit hazy but you know I'm testing them at the same power same eyepiece so of course it's small I can see Triton so let me try to get the meat uh, over there and uh, that's it, see how I see it. Uh, so I'm using an 18 radian on, um, on the Takahashi and I'm using a 14 on the meat. They're all producing fairly close power. Okay, so I have the meat on the 14 radian. Yeah, look, they both look very sharp but you know it's it's 50 power is not a lot 58 power you know it, it's small type of thing so obviously i have to bump up the power and to something where i can look at the ring structure try to see cassini division and just try to uh, you know get it higher power so then i can test it to better detail um, so that's it so i'll see you guys in a minute or two let me just switch some eye pieces and uh, come, come back in one minute. Okay, we're at 163 power. That's a five millimeter uh, radian on the Takahashi. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. You can see a, a stripe on it, Triton. You can easily see uh, fairly easy. You can see the Cassini division it is a bit shaky. Like I said, today is not the best night. Yesterday was much, much 
clearer, uh, but I was a little bit tired after doing some work at home. Let's just see if I can find focus a little bit better, although it looks pretty good to me. Wow. Just the detail. Wow, you can just see the bands on it easily. Okay, let me look at this guy and see what's going on. Okay, let's see what's going on in the meteor. Chest pretty sharp too. Let me, uh, it's not bad. But of course, I haven't even focused yet. It's not bad. It's okay, that's similar. Let's see. Go back to this guy. Let me see back on this guy. Just wait for it to stabilize a little bit. It's pretty good too. Hmm. Mm hmm. This is close, man. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to take it to the extreme power and see if I can just push, see what's gonna happen now. And this guy, three millimeters, taking me to 303 power. That's pretty much the limit of this guy. 130, it's past the power. 260 would be that 50 inch per power. So this is way above that. Now, is it gonna be clear? Saturn is just one of those things you have to see with the naked eye. So looking at it in a picture, on the computer, uh, on the screen, on a book, it just does not do it justice. You want to enjoy the view. Again, I'm way, way above the 50 times per inch because I'm at 303 and this guy, if you go by that formula, it's 260. So it's already uh, over like 43 power over that. Just not rock solid at this power. It's, it's nice. Just wanna keep enjoying the view. Let it settle down. I think this is long enough to get a really good Okay, okay, I got it mentally in my eye. Okay, the only downfall is gonna be if I use a three millimeter on the Takahashi, it's gonna be 272. Um, it's still a little bit less power than the meat. Um, anything else um, okay, it's gonna have to do. It's gonna have to do right now because can't ever let you Okay, there we are. Center this guy up. Okay, switch the app piece over. And it's over. Do -do 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 -do. Let's tighten this guy down. So at 272, I'm way above the power. So if this is a 102, it should be 204. So practically almost 70 power above. Even uh, I'm above more than the mean one. So I'm looking and enjoying. Sorry if I, uh, I'm not talking all the time, but of course I want to try to uh, look at what I'm seeing, study it look at the detail, let it get steady. So I just don't want to be breathing, talking, um, so I can tell you guys what I see. I 
think. Okay. I'll talk to you guys inside. That way it's not so dark. The images were very, very close. I mean, very close. Um, I think I saw the Takahashi just a little bit sharper. And what I like to look is like on the ring itself. Is the ring more, you know, like almost like a knife edge? Is that Cassini division nice and clear or thicker gap? You know, so I like to look at Saturn like that because you could see a little bit more detail. Um, uh, like that so it's I would say virtually like 98% identical I think again and it's hard to judge when it's just so little the Takahashi was just a hair you know sharper but that's really it it was it's pretty close so I guess um, I guess you could look at it a few ways the Takahashi is such good quality it could be on par with another good quality, not as good quality, but still a medium quality, much larger um, uh, scope. Um, or it could be, you know, uh, for most people, maybe getting um, one of the medium uh, branded uh, scopes will get you virtually there. Now, sometimes guys also, you can't just do one test obviously and then that's the end of that you know sometimes you have to do another test another test uh you know maybe this guy conditions wasn't as good today as it could have been yesterday as i said in the beginning so maybe you know when it's perfect seeing maybe then the the better quality one starts to get ahead a, a little bit more type of thing maybe if i were to push it to instead of 272 power on the takahashi up to 303 the exact match then maybe I would have saw it would have been larger maybe I would have saw more I mean it could go the other way too maybe you're blowing it up way beyond uh, what it should be maybe it would have gotten fuzzier hard to tell but as far as today's testing um, same night same eyepieces type of thing both performed you know fairly good they both had the same cooling you know, so if anybody is thinking of something like a mead type of thing, triplet, you're you're gonna like it. They have the 80 millimeter, uh, the 115 and the 130. You're gonna be very happy with that. Um, you know, and you're still paying half or even more than half what a similar Takahashi was would be. Um, now re remember um, when I did the test of. Uh, one of the first videos, you know, last year, if you look it up, the Takahashi 102 against the Skywatcher Evo Star um, four inch, there was a huge difference. You can easily tell that it wasn't just a little uh, difference. It was, like I said in that one, in the low powers, you can easily tell in that eyepiece that it, it was like, whoa, it's it's already sharper. I couldn't tell here in this the low power, the medium power, and it was virtually right at the limit where I think again there wasn't it wasn't a clear winner, but I think it was just a little sharper. Hard to tell when it's just one or two percent sharper. Um, it, it's really tough. So either or, if you want the best, you know there are those companies that have the best. You're getting the name brand. You're getting the prestige, the history of it. And like I said, maybe on the best of nights is where it would perform and start to run away and you would say okay that's like 10 percent better that's it for this one that's what happened i'll see you guys on the next time joe jaguar like comment and subscribe out